Valentine's Happy Day. Happy Valentine's <laughs> Day. We are pleased to be joined right now getting into Valentine's Day mood with Julia Lofton. She is here to talk about how to care for those Valentine's flowers. Now, the women get the gifts. Guys get them too well, uh, in terms of flowers. I, why not? They make you happy. Flowers make everybody happy. I think we think as a woman it's a female thing, but the truth is flowers are just beautiful and they make us happy. I, I would definitely perk up if I got some flowers. Yes, yes yeah. and you deserve some. So. Now, here's the weird part, and I appreciate that. The weird part is when you get them, you kind of do that that look around of like, what do I do with these? Right. Because right. Uh, a lot of people think that they're going to die immediately, and right. that's not the case. Right. The most important thing is, it's pretty easy, is if they come, you know how they come sometimes wrapped in paper? Um, some, if you, if you get them delivered, you're going to have a vase, but otherwise they might be in. The first thing is just to get them in some fresh water. And I always, always recommend that as soon as you do get them, you go ahead and cut the you know, a half inch or an inch off the base of them. Okay. And that way you're taking off that dead tissue and putting them in some water and they'll take the water up quicker. So, but th that's what a lot of people is they'll get them and they'll kind of hold on to them and, you know, carry them around the office or uh, let them lay around and they need to be in water. So that's a key to keeping them alive longer yes. by making sure to uh, refresh the stem yes. and, yeah. and put some fresh water in there. Yes, yes. Um, you know, if you, I don't know if you've ever done this, but the leaves and if you leave them for a while, the leaves get stinky and yeah. the you need to change the water regularly and it doesn't hurt to recut the stem several times and nobody outcast says this nobody likes the stinky roses no now sometimes <laughs> the flowers come with these uh packets right here yep. now this packet is very useful uh what is it and what do they do with this packet so it's got uh, sugars in there it's got a little bit of an acidifier and uh, basically an antibacteria that will keep the water from getting yucky and plugging up the stems and it feeds the flowers a little bit with some sugar and so it makes them last longer. It does use it. Don't throw it away. Don't so, do not yeah. throw that away. And yeah. one of my favorite uh, TV episodes uh, of my favorite show, Martin, uh, they oh, yeah. jokingly said, I put aspirin in the water. Is, is that um, something that helps? It's a good question. Mm -hmm. We used to think it did, but it really is better to just put a little splash of mouthwash in there and it'll do as much good as an aspirin. Mouthwash? If you have it, some okay. people, you know, have a little, just a, a little splash of mouthwash. It keeps the water fresh and it's got a little bit of sugar in it too. So it's not as good as the packet, better than an aspirin and easy. Now, a lot of people are buying the roses and everything and they are spending major money for Valentine's Day. Uh, so none of the guys or ladies get upset. Uh, if you see the flowers thrown away, they, they should make sure that they meet the expectations. So <laughs> how long can we expect okay. the flowers to last? Well, in the olden days, you'd be lucky if you got a week out of them, but these new hybrids, they've been bred to stand up for a long time. So if it's roses, easily two weeks. You should get maybe two weeks out of them. Ooh, that some is a the, long some of window. The, it is, and you can really enjoy them. A lot of the other flowers won't last quite that long, but depends on what they are. But hopefully with roses, you'll get 10, 10 days or two weeks out of them. That's a nice long time to enjoy them. Now, okay, so here's my final question too. A lot of people buy roses in bulk and they, they will fill up the entire room, but realistically, some folks may get on average make two dozen for Valentine's. Oh, that's is it nice, bad to combine yeah. all of those roses together? No. Nope. As long as you're uh, changing the water, that's the big secret. And go ahead and maybe every couple days take that little bottom tip off with your pruners or your scissors, and you can put them all together. It doesn't matter. Main thing's the water, Rob. Fellas, I tried to give you an out. Too many flowers is not a bad thing. Yeah. So make sure to give them a call at 405-713-1125, or you can visit extensionokstate.edu.